Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from recipes for type A school lunch of 1957, we're going to be making the peanut butter and dried beef sandwich. Uh, this was sent in to me, and I cannot remember who sent it in, so if you did, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, also, this is really a thing for an entire school, so I had to scale it down, um, but it's an interesting sandwich. So whenever I follow a recipe that calls for dried beef, I always get comments from folks saying that I need to get it from the deli. Unfortunately, this is the only kind of dried beef we can get out here on the West Coast uh, from Hormel in a jar. It's ground, formed, and sliced into this that looks like pepperoni, but is very much not. First thing we gotta do, pour boiling water over the dried beef. Now we drain it. Now we chop it. Now we add in peanut butter. Yep. Prepared mustard, which is just basically mustard instead of dry, powdery mustard. And of course, mayonnaise. Get that all mixed together. Now we put that onto bread. Okay, let's give this peanut butter and dried beef sandwich a go. What's interesting is the mayonnaise has just sort of disappeared. It's just sort of bringing a richness. The dried beef, which is notoriously salty, is not because we did the boiling water trick. And the beef and the peanut butter kind of do go well together flavor-wise, and the mustard is just sort of like a slight brightness. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I do want to try and plus it up a little though. I'm going to add a little barbecue sauce. I think the, the sweetness and the smokiness is going to play well off the peanut butter and the beef. It'll be kind of like a savory PB&J. Okay, let's give this peanut butter and dried beef sandwich plus up with a little Texas style barbecue sauce. A go. <laughs> Sweet, a little bit tangy, a little bit smoky. Playing really well with the peanut butter and really well with the beef. The mustard has been kind of relegated to nothing now, but that's okay, I don't mind. I like the barbecue sauce even better. All right, so the original peanut butter and dried beef sandwich, when I read the recipe, I thought this is, you know, iffy at best. Dried beef is kind of salty. Um, you got peanut butter, mustard, mayonnaise. It's like, I don't know. But it did come together. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It's really middle of the road. I'm gonna give that a five. Plus up with the Texas style barbecue sauce, bring a little sweet, a little heat, a little smoke. Um, that paired really well with the peanut butter and the dried beef. That's like a seven now. That is tasty. I'm definitely going to finish this. I don't know that I would make this again, but I might try and uh, replicate that combo of flavors of the barbecue sauce, peanut butter, and beef because uh, that is tasty. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. <laughs>